Hey guys, it's a uh, beautiful day, a couple days before Thanksgiving and here in western Pennsylvania, sun's out, really nice today. Uh, decided to make a little video about some solar panels for my outdoor shed here. Uh, from my house to my shed's probably a hundred and some feet and by the time you buy underground wire and get it out from the shed into the house, probably 150 feet of wire plus renting a trencher for a day uh, and all the hooking up and buying a panel and all that crap. I decided I'd try solar power. So I told my wife and she bought me this kit from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's a 100 watt kit. Uh, there's the panels. There are four 25 watt panels. And they got a little blue light on the top. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's so sunny out. But when those lights are on, it's charging. And they're always on. I don't care if it's cloudy or not during the day. Those lights are blazing away. So it's getting power all the time. Uh, I hung them on a steel bracket I made. Uh, put some uni strut. And then these panels here have real small holes. Uh, they're just small holes so you can put the panels together so they don't fall over all you know by themselves and they got little stands on the back so I did is I took a 2x4 womanized 2x4 I cut it in half and I put it on the unit strut and bolted it on there and then I took just regular wood screws I don't know if you can see them or not uh, there they are and I just screwed it to the 2x4. They're pretty light panels, so there's no problem with that. I mean, they're not going to be super weight heavy or nothing like that. Uh, so I brought the wire into my shed here. Uh, i got to get some LED lights for the ceiling yet, but there's the, the wire comes in here. There's your controller that they give you. Uh, it's a plug-in system from the solar panels. The wire just plugs right in the front there. And then you have your two batteries, positive and minus, from the battery to the charger. And that's about it. Uh, the battery I bought, it's a 35 amp battery from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm going to exchange that, I think, now that I see how the system works, I'm going to buy a 100 watt or a 100 amp battery instead or just get another one of these and put them uh, in parallel and then uh, this is the converter I bought it's only got the one plug on the front there but it's a thousand watt continuous two thousand watt surge pure sine wave converter uh, I heard if you're gonna use use it to charge up your uh, battery tools that the charger will need that so uh, that's what I bought uh, simple to hook up it only took me probably an hour total time to hang them panels and put that conduit through the wall and put this little board and platform up with everything and screw it down so I mean if <laughs> You can do it in an hour, it'll probably take you a day renting a trencher and all that and putting wire out to the house. And it's, you know, plus then if the power goes out in your house, you don't have any power right anywhere for anything else. So that's what I decided to put it out here. And I just wanted to try it, what the heck, you know, something new. So, uh, pretty happy with it. Like I say, it's only got the one plug on it, but I don't use it that often out here that I need power tools. But when I do, I'll, at least I'll have one. Uh, like I say, I'm going to hook up an LED. They give you these little uh, LED 12 volt lights here. So I just have one hung up there. And it's pretty bright, but I don't want to use them for overhead lighting. I think the way they make them, it's a real long cord and, and the on off button. If you, you'd have to let them hang down two feet just to reach the cord. You know where the switch is. Uh, that's not too, too good. But I'll put some road lights on the top, and it'll be nice and bright in here when I need it to be. 
I think you need a little bit, like I said, a bigger storage unit because this little battery, uh, if you, I was out here the other day cutting up some wood and uh, running my chop saw and if you continuously run it and run it and run it and run it, it will finally drain this down far enough it won't let your saw kick on and you just wait a couple minutes and it fires right back up but uh, I think with a bigger battery and more amps I be wouldn't have to worry about that at all so if you're looking to get power in a remote shed somewhere then you don't want to do the hassle of all the wiring you know going underground and all that and a lot of people ain't comfortable with that anyway so don't know you know anything about electricity but this is a simple way to go and like I said I think total I got three hundred dollars with the panels the battery and the uh, converter so 300 bucks I don't even think you could do that underground as far as I had to go anyway so that's my video for today thanks for watching guys bye